Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar remains stable as it aims at the key level of 60-day moving average, which is seen around 66 cents. And the base now holding and has continued for at least the last few days at 64.5 I feel the market has potential to rebound if it does challenge the bottom side of this range and look towards 65.20 and clearing that should see a move on towards 65.65 and then on towards 66 cents. Earlier in the day, the Reserve Bank of Australia, Governor Michelle Bullock, stated that the central bank is currently committed to reducing inflation and the evidence suggests that the progress is being made. She also went on to emphasise that the board has not yet decided on a further interest rate hike and is considering all options. A little bit to the hawkish side, but I still find the market will probably shrug that off as we could see down the track a slightly different start emerging. Moving on to the euro, we can see a slightly stronger case here as an engulfing candle could see further progress to the upside after taking the challenge to the downside, was rejected around that 107.15.25. In light of how the market is unfolding in terms of the technical pattern, I like the way that we could actually eventually see a clearance of 107.90 and on towards 108.5, and maybe eventually stretching on towards 109. The dollar index, meanwhile, is still somewhat flat as it trades around 104.10.15. The dollar yen stays a surprise rally in New York, and cleared the key level of 148.7090 after triggering around the stops. The move follows comments from the Bank of Japan's governor after restating that the bank would maintain its negative interest rates policy. He also mentioned that revising the negative interest rate policy will not necessarily result in rapid rate hikes. In view of this, as long as we see a cap around 149.60, then a break of 148.80 would reinstate the downside back towards the lows of 147. Above 149.60 leaves me neutral. Sterling was also whipsawed overnight. If we can see, we've got a dragonfly doji. And still further to the upside move, could actually see a rally on to the region of 127, and maybe even 127.65, where these tops are all covering here. In light of the technical pattern, we could see this firm up and therefore let's see if we can see the rally. And I like the way this Dragonfly Doji because it comes from the bullish side of the Japanese candlestick family and therefore should maintain its bias. Another sideways pattern but a little bit whipsawed for gold but like Sterling I can see there is a Dragonfly Doji that could see the market progress further to the upside and look towards the region of 2042 and on to 2050 and then you pull back see support around 2028 wrapping up with oil well since the break above this 74 dollar mark has reinstated the inverse head and shoulders that could see further gains on towards 78 dollars a barrel and the measured move seen at 81 to 83 we are bullish in terms of the technicals so let's see if we can rally on with an adx supporting the trend and also the rsi any pullback is likely to be limited. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inflay Report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new weekend.